Hi, it's Steve Thronson. Thanks again for tuning in. A lot of sellers ask me, what's it gonna cost to sell my home? In fact, it's probably one of the most important, most frequent questions I get. And of course the answer is, that depends. But let me go through some of the costs that are associated with closing a sale when you're selling a home. So for starters, there's going to be your mortgage payout. This is something that a lot of people forget about. Always a good idea to call your bank in advance and say, what's it gonna cost me to close this mortgage out? There's a lot of different options we can do. We can port your mortgage, we can port and blend, things like that. That's a conversation that's more specific to you, but ask that question because that's a, that's a wow surprise that you don't want. Of course, commission. That's gonna depend on where you're located. Focus on the value and focus on the money in your pocket, not necessarily the top line. In most markets, we're gonna see 7% on the first 100,000, 3% on the balance of the sale price. It's gonna depend on where you live. Give us a call, we can talk and we can tell you what that includes. Other costs that you're gonna to wanna to consider are a real property report. So if you're selling a detached home or even some townhomes and attached homes, you're going to have a real property report and that's like a survey and that's gonna typically cost you about $800, depends on where you live, depends on what your property is. Of course, ask us, we'll tell you if you need it or not. Check your legal file, you'll know it when you see it. Great big legal doc, important legal doc. So guard it with your life when you do find it. Legal costs are another thing that you're gonna to wanna to consider. So your legal costs when you're selling a property, again, are gonna depend on property type, location, and all these other things, but expect to pay about $1,000, maybe 1,500, depending on the complexity of your transaction. If you're selling a condo, typically you would need to provide condo or strata docs if you're in BC. So what that's gonna cost will vary depending on who your management company is, but anticipate three to $400. That's typically what we see. Ideally you get them early so we avoid rush charges and that'll save you a few more dollars. That's a quick summary of what it's gonna cost you to sell your house. Give us a call anytime and we'll be happy to go through your specific case and tell you exactly what you're looking at.